Are you looking for a program that will allow you to zoom in on your screen and annotate? I've been using a program called Zoomit for about six years now. It's my go-to program for zooming in on the screen and drawing. I've tried a few other programs, but I keep coming back to Zoomit, mainly because of all it can do in just one tiny program. Once you have Zoomit installed and running, you can use the functions by clicking on the program in the Programs icon tray, or, once you know the hotkey combinations or the keyboard shortcuts, you can just use those. Let's take a look at the options. So Zoom is Control-1, and I have a few options here. Live Zoom is Control-4 by default, and that allows me to not only zoom in, but still type on the screen. Draw is my absolute favorite that I use all the time, and that keyboard shortcut is Control-2. I can also type when I'm in draw mode, and I can set a break timer, and that keyboard shortcut is Control-3. So let's take a look at each of these in action. Control-1 will zoom in on the screen. I can click my right mouse button or escape on the keyboard or simply do control one again to get out of zoom mode. Now the thing about zoom mode is it is initially going to zoom in wherever you have your mouse positioned. So if I have my mouse positioned up here in the left hand upper left hand corner and I click control one to zoom in, that's where it's initially going to zoom in. I can then move the mouse to move that my zoom around for the screen. Again, to exit, control one again, or right click on your mouse. To draw, the keyboard shortcut is control two. Now I'm in draw mode and I don't have to zoom in to be in draw mode. So I can draw a circle, do some arrows, when I'm in draw mode, I can change colors from red, which is the default, to yellow, green, blue, orange, or pink. And I do that by hitting the key on my keyboard. I can also type when I am in draw mode. I simply hit the T on my keyboard and it takes me into typing mode. To exit out of draw, control 1 to exit. Live zoom is control 4. This not only zooms in, but it also allows me to type within my document. I need to edit the word edit, and live zoom will allow me to make those edits. To exit out of this mode, simply toggle with control 4 again. Control 3 brings me into my break mode. By default, it is set at 10 minutes, and once the timer goes down, it simply goes back to my normal screen. To exit out of that, I'm just going to hit Escape on my keyboard, and we'll go back into Options. And for my break, I can actually adjust what the timer is going to be. I also have some advanced options for my break timer. One of the things I've really noticed about using the Zoomit program and really just any zoom in type program is I have to be really careful when using it because I think I can cause some motion sickness with my students sometimes. And especially if I'm in a WebEx or a Zoom session, I'm very careful about zooming the screen in. So that's just one thing to be aware of. I've actually had the screen lock up on me in a Zoom session when I have tried to use this program. It could simply be user error, I'm not sure, and I've never tried it in a WebEx session. However, I use the draw feature all the time. With a little practice, using the keyboard shortcuts for the Zoomit program becomes second nature. I can enter and exit all the modes 
pretty much without thinking about it. So let's look at where you can download this program and give it a try. To download the program, just head on over to the Microsoft site. I have put the link in the description below. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. And if you've been looking for a tool like this where you can zoom in on the screen and annotate, I think you're really going to appreciate this program. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos on this channel.